most people in this country has no clue who Nick Fuentes is. And if they heard his statements that he makes, they would want nothing to do with him. He sounds like a very immature young man saying hateful things about people and, and, and calling using a people group, talking about the, talking about people he doesn't like by an entire people group which is horrible. Why would he ever do that? And then also say, no, I'm not racist or I'm not these things. Yeah, you are if you talk that way, because that's how you sound. And I don't know why Kanye West would align himself with that. It makes no sense to me whatsoever, because the reality is, why would anyone want to follow or hang out with someone that condemns an entire group of people constantly when he knows nothing? Yeah, that's a good question. Why would somebody want to follow someone who would condemn an entire group of people? Hmm. You just listened to Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene denounce Nick Fuentes after she was essentially pressured to do so because now he's become a lot more popular and she kind of helped to build him up by speaking at his America First conference. Now, that wasn't the only instance where she spoke out against Nick Fuentes. Via Twitter, she writes, of course, I denounce Nick Fuentes and his racist anti-Semitic ideology. I can't comprehend why the media is obsessed with him. Maybe it's because he's a Nazi and he continues to get a gigantic platform and spread his Nazi beliefs. That's probably why. And also because politicians like you and your colleague Paul Gosar are associating with him and helping him build up his name recognition. So that's why this is so important, Marjorie Green. Now, some people... I think rightfully questioned whether or not she was being genuine considering just a week or so ago, she defended Fuentes again by signal boosting a tweet calling on Elon Musk to unban him among other far-right individuals. Now, denouncing a Nazi was actually controversial because a lot of her fan base is indeed comprised of, well, Nazis. But even if she hadn't condemned Nick Fuentes, well, she already was in hot water with the far right because she endorsed House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, or I should say she endorsed Kevin McCarthy in his bid to be House Speaker. And the reason why that's bad is because he's a rhino, but she did that because she wants to get her committee assignments back. And the way that you do that is you kiss the ring of the individual who is the favorite to win. So by doing that, she was seen as a traitor by a lot of her fans. Now here's what her Nazi and far-right supporters are saying about her. Nick Fuentes called her controlled opposition and claims that that she and Alex Jones threw him under the bus to appease Jewish groups. Furthermore, Vice explains, she's just weak. She goes and says something edgy to get attention, and then when the pressure comes, she buckles, said Fuentes on a podcast after Green's disavowal of him. You know, she's going to be a MAGA mom and QAnon and all that, and then the second Kevin McCarthy reprimands her and she loses her committee, she goes and apologizes. Fuentes also mocked Green's dreams of becoming the face of Christian nationalism in the United States. Quote, how are you going to be the face of Christian nationalism when you're a divorced woman girl boss, said Fuentes. I'm so glad I don't have to pretend to support that anymore. He's also taken to calling Green large Marge and is encouraging his followers to heckle her at events. Far-right activist Laura Loomer also announced that she was done with Green. Marjorie Taylor Green is no longer an ally to America First, Loomer declared on Telegram. She may have climbed to be so that she could climb the political ladder, but she has shown she is all talk and zero action unless, of course, the action is selling t-shirts and wine glasses. You are their slave, Marjorie, a slave to the Democrats and the media that you constantly talk about, wrote Holocaust denier Vince James. Quote, by that statement, disavowing Fuentes, it just got to show you're living according to the rules of their game that they've completely rigged against us. Now, that's the most significant because Marjorie Taylor Greene is a member of Congress, of course, but she's not the only far-right figure who has lost support of Nazis and their far-right supporters not mutually exclusive, by the way, by condemning Nazism and Hitler. Because Steven Crowder, one of the largest political YouTubers, if not the largest political YouTuber, tweeted this out. I hope this is something we can all find common ground on, with the caption, Hitler bad. Now, some of his supporters were not happy about this. One of them wrote, why are you shilling for the Jews? Another says, as a longtime fan, I have to say, I'm disappointed you're not discussing this with the nuance it deserves. Another just writes, no. Another says, I don't think so, man. Another says, I don't agree. And there was a lot more where that came from. Now, just pause for a moment. Okay, ask yourselves, why would Marjorie Taylor Greene 
and Steven Crowder get backlash for condemning Nazis and Hitler. It's because the Nazis and far-right individuals who followed them saw them as one of their own. They saw them as allies, as fellow Nazis. I've got to say, if it were me in their position, if I had a huge platform and I realized that the bulk of my support was coming from Nazis and they thought that I was one of them, I would seriously reconsider the ways in which I talk about politics, the ways in which I talk about marginalized groups. But they're not going to stop, right? They will essentially be full-blown fascists, Marjorie Green and Steven Crowder, by the way, and they'll condemn every single marginalized community, use fascistic rhetoric. But after attracting this huge base of Nazis and far-right individuals, they basically have a surprised Pikachu face after learning that so many of their fans are just straight-up Nazis. I mean, are you really surprised that this is your fan base, Marjorie Green and Steven Crowder? See, if I were to condemn Hitler and Nazis and fascists, which I do pretty regularly, unequivocally so, there would be no controversy whatsoever. Why? Because that's not the audience that I'm cultivating. That's not the base of fans or viewers that I'm trying to build here. So they wouldn't be shocked to hear me say that, yes, it is indeed the case that Hitler is bad and Nazism is bad and should be defeated. But when all you do is attack marginalized people and you espouse far right talking points and you say things that are explicitly fascistic, can you really be that surprised when Nazis turn against you? See, you flew a little bit too close to the sun there. You started to actually get chummy with Nazis like Nick Fuentes. And after months, when you finally feel enough pressure to condemn him, Marjorie Taylor Greene, all of a sudden you're losing your base of support and you're just another rhino or controlled opposition. So I find this unsurprising because this is who these people are pandering to. You can't be surprised that you're followed by a bunch of Nazis and fascists and white supremacists if you pander to them constantly. We're not just talking about dog whistles. We're talking about explicit white supremacy that we see from individuals like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Steven Crowder on the regular. And they go after the LGBTQ plus community viciously. And they think that, oh, well... This is just going to help me cultivate support with regular conservatives. I mean, sure, conservatives may support you in your culture war endeavors, but for the most part, the country has moved on, right? You may be extra loud in your demonization of trans people and queer people, but overall, when you look at polls, Americans support gay rights. So all that you have left to be your fan base are nothing but far-right lunatics. So don't be surprised when they turn against you after you denounce them, because that's obviously what you're supposed to do. And I've just got to point out that these folks like Steven Crowder and Marjorie Taylor Greene, they're not denouncing Nick Fuentes and Kanye West willingly. They're doing so begrudgingly because Kanye West went full mask off. Nick Fuentes, as he's gained this platform, more people know about him, and you can't just hope that most people are ignorant. People know that you associated with and defended Nazis, somebody who says that he likes Hitler. So now you kind of have no choice but to denounce Ye, someone you previously defended, Steven Crowder, and denounce Nick Fuentes, somebody who you were buddy-buddy with, Marjorie Taylor Greene, because you would lose all legitimacy if you didn't do that with most people. But it's funny that they're just losing their support as a result of, uh, of doing this. So, look, I love it. I'm glad that the right is uh, turning on each other. I'm glad that the far right is attacking individuals like Marjorie Taylor Greene because this is going to prove to her that you're not going to be able to secure power if you continue to pander to these extremists. And I get that she is an extremist herself, but as a member of Congress, she needs to moderate if she wants to actually have power and get committee assignments. And when it comes to Steven Crowder, I mean, he kind of has this incentive to be as extreme as possible because it's all about views and clicks, but you can only go so far to where you turn off the majority of your audience by associating with and defending people like Kanye West, which is why he's had to come out and deny announce Kanye West. So either way, it's not shocking to me that they're facing backlash after denouncing Nazis. But if they're actually shocked after doing this, then 
I don't know what to say. I mean, this is the bed that you've made. So now you're kind of forced to lie in it because your entire support base is Nazi. So good job. Maybe try to do better and you won't attract them as your main base of support. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Wolf, moralist, wolf, moralist, wolf, moralist. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. Her genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.